Hey everyone, it's me, X and today I'm going to be opening up, opening up two of these enormous boxes from Saks Fifth Avenue. These are the limited edition Cinderella dolls, and I don't know why the doll is in a box this big. It's like actually the size of me, but I guess that's a thing. And the reason I have two is because one of them is for my friend who lives in Canada. I, uh, she bought her, had her shipped to my address, and then I'm going to ship the doll to her house. You got it. Okay. Um, so it says do not open with sharp instrument, but kind of, I'll use a pencil <laughs> just to puncture the tape and then we can rip. So these dolls, if you don't already know, I think they're still in stock on Saks Fifth Avenue's website. They're on sale for 150 which is about the normal price of a normal limited edition Disney doll. Um, and these are the special Saks Fifth Avenue versions that actually retail for around like 300 I think. And I actually really, really wanted this one. I didn't just buy her because she was on sale. I was going to buy her back then, but I did not have the money, so I just gave up. And I actually did not know she was still in stock, so pretty exciting. All right, the first doll. You can see her. I don't know how to get her out. <laughs> Jeez, this box is enormous. Why is it so big? Ow. Dang it, she's really heavy. Come on out. <laughs> Do you... Do you see just how big this box is? This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna dump. Maybe that's not the best idea, but onto the couch should be fine. Here we go. <laughs> All right, jeez, Louise. Okay. Woo! All right, here. Jeez, I've never actually seen the doll's box before like this. All right, so here's the first one, and the box is in great condition. Um, actually, no, it's not. It's kind of scraped up. Looks like it was on display at a store and got played with a lot. Um, it says, the, I can't even be in frame. It says, the Cinderella Collector Doll. Disney is proud to present the limited edition Cinderella doll that captures the timeless, her timeless beauty. Disney artists have brought to life one of Disney's most iconic princesses in extraordinary detail. Inspired by Cinderella's grace, this doll features an extravagant skirt, embroidered metallic silver lace. It just says embroidered metallic silver lace. Voluminous organza puff sleeves and elegant elbow length gloves, which provide the final touches to a spectacular gown. With her classic updo and iconic glass slippers, Cinderella is truly the belle of the ball. Can you say that? <laughs> Isn't that referring to Beauty and the Beast Belle? Um, making this doll a treasured edition to any collection. And it says it retailed for $3.95, which is a lot of money. And it says certificate of authenticity and display stand included. All right, so it looks like you just, it's like magnets. Try not to hurt this box in case the other one's shredded. So, oh, <laughs> there she is. Okay, so she's really big. <laughs> This box is enormous! Wow, okay, so this box is in reasonably good condition, but I kind of hope the other ones are better condition so the friend can have the better one, but we will see. So now I'm going to put this one aside and we're going to open the next one. And then I will open up my doll and give you guys my, you know, reviews slash raving because I almost never don't like something. <laughs> I'm actually kind of a negative person in real life, if you can believe it. I just really like dolls. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually very negative, but I do complain a lot, and I don't do that with my dolls. Okay. Jeez, this tape is really strong. Ouch. Okay. Um, there we go. And then we're going to dump this one out, same as the last one. It seems like the only way. <laughs> All right. Here she comes. All right, let's throw this aside. I'm gonna get noise complaints. All right, here is doll number two. Um, got. It's hard to tell which box is in better condition. This one looks a little bit better, so I think I'm going to give this one to my friend. Let me see. Oh, there's a crease up here. Um, let's see. So this one has a crease right here. But what I was looking at is if you want to display this doll opened in the box, 
there's these big ugly magnet spots on the other one and they're not as pronounced here. But let me see if there's any creases on the other box. Um, yeah, this one doesn't have as many creases and shelf wear damage, so I think I'm actually going to set this one aside for her. Um, or no, the front of the box has this big ugly... Hmm. Okay, wait. Because of this, because it's directly on the front, do you see that? Sorry, this is like making this decision live. Um, there's that big ugly crease and also this box, like I said, was super scratched up. And the crease on this box is at the top where you can't really see it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set this one aside for her. I think that's the best decision because the front of the box is just in better shape. Um, I'm not an inbox collector, so I hope that my judgment was the correct judgment. Anyway, now we have my Cinderella, which is the first one that I open. Um, and I'm gonna get her out of here. So it looks like there's some sort of, this is actually just a, okay. So they just made a ridiculous amount of cardboard for this box for some reason. Where am I gonna put this box, man? Oh my God, I don't have space for this. Um, very cool. I like, I think if I were to keep her in box, I would just pull hair like this. This is a lot cooler. Um, I want to get her certificate if it's around. Oh, you gotta get the plastic off. And her plastic is basically just, um, uh, when she transforms into Cinderella for the first time. It has all those pretty fairy dust things. That's what that is. Um, and then my, mine is number 368. That's a very low number. Um, and mine unfortunately has a little bit of a printing defect on the number, but again, I don't really care. I don't really see the point of a certificate of authenticity. If someone could bootleg one of these, I would be so, I would be shocked. <laughs> um, Brett, Brett? I forgot to grab scissors, and I think he's busy. Let me set this aside. So this is the back of the box. Just put that somewhere. Jesus, this box is enormous. Okay, so here... Cinderella. I hope the lighting is okay. Um, it's kind of washing me out, but I think it's good for Cinderella because it gives you the impression of all the, the sparkles and cuteness on the outfit. And I'm so sorry about my hair. I wish I had a hair tie here, but I don't. Um, let me go get scissors. <laughs> got scissors, just weird ones. Um, so let's get Cinderella out. So I'm gonna undo the ties on the back first because these ruin scissors when you cut them and I need to stop doing that because I do a lot of crafting and scissors are vital to the operation. <laughs> Untie this and this off. Okay, and then all this tape. Okay, so for these that are scotch taped, I, I think I'm going to um, cut from the front for them just because they're not metal ties, so I don't really care. And I'm not planning to put this doll back in the box. When I die and somebody wants to sell her, they're going to be disappointed that the box is not in the condition where you can just pop her back in, but I don't care about that. I really don't. <laughs> Um, did I undo that one? Yeah, I did. Okay, I just gotta pull her out. Oh yeah, they do that thing that the Disney Store dolls do. This is a Disney Store doll. Where they feed the wire through the dress, which I hate because they, like, make the dress for that. So sometimes it has this big, ugly, like... Like on Monster High Dolls, how the pants will have tail holes for the characters that have tails. It looks like that. On the Disney, like, big gowns, it's so funny to me. But it's how they tie them in box, and I, I understand that they need to do that. Um, and let's get that off for, I guess that's her shoes. And then we're gonna have to be real careful because the gown is placed, it's like tied down in I think eight different places, which makes sense. It's gotta look good in the box and I don't want to rip at it. I usually would, but this doll is, retails for $300. So I'm going to very carefully pull each tab so it'll just like feed out instead of ripping the actual fabric. Um, which so far I am successful. <laughs> I was told <laughs> last time I opened all my premiere dolls, I was told people like to live vicariously through me when I pop them open because most people don't 
want to. I think that's funny. So I hope this is a satisfying opening video, even though my hair looks like this. I'm gonna, I'm about to cut my bangs live on camera at this point. Okay. I think she's out. One more tie. Did I undo it? Yeah, I did. Um, oh no, I didn't. How did I miss that? <laughs> She's free and upside down. <laughs> right, let's put her little back background aside. I think if I were to ever put them back in the box, I would just put them on the background because the backgrounds are always really cute, especially on the Premier Dolls. Okay, so this tie is through her updo and I really don't want to ruin that. Did they really tie it? Okay. Let's see. I don't want to ruin the updo because I would not be able to fix that. Okay, that's out. And then let's get these off. This is like, the, this is the point of no return, guys. The point of no return is when I... Cut the first tape. All right. What is that? Okay, get that off. So already, the way they packaged her with the rubber bands to keep the gloves up, which didn't actually keep the gloves up, it left an imp like a shiny impression on her skin. Um, you can't see it at all, but um, it's very interesting on a four hundred dollar piece. <laughs> uh, now let me get the ties off here because I'm not. A fan of these little ties. I don't want them all over my things. Um, these ties too that they usually use on their feet always leave these big ugly marks. And thankfully the limited edition dolls don't have the rubbery legs, at least the 17 inch ones don't. So you don't get the big impressions, but probably still get those ugly shine marks. Okay. So what I'm noticing is that her skin is super shiny and I don't actually have any limited edition dolls that are um pale like this the only 17 inches that i have well no cartoon ones that are pale like this so i can't confirm if this is just the normal skin tone they do or if she's slightly iridescent um but she's like she sort of shines with her skin i don't know if the light so bright ah! it almost fell my lamp is one of those really expensive hot lights and for some reason the stand it just does not you can't screw it in oh it just fell out no why is everything going wrong <laughs> come on I'm gonna try to screw it back in. Okay, that's. I think it's holding up now at least. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. Okay. That's no lifetime thing here. Okay. Um. So, just first impression. She's amazing. She's so beautiful. I love her so much. So, for starters. It's like knockout face. I think her face is absolutely beautiful and I hope this weird lighting can show you it. Just, yeah, there you go. Super pretty and the big um, rooted lashes are great. Her makeup is, it's actually pretty minimal, but it's gorgeous. Um, and her choker even has rhinestones on it, which is pretty cool. Um, iconic Cinderella piece and kind of a twist on it. She's got these little rhinestone like Swarovski crystal earrings and her headband also has rhinestones on it because she just she's all glammed up right now <laughs> um oh what just fell oh there's a bunch of these things in her dress to hold the, the dress like in a certain way in the package are they all out now sorry for looking up your skirt missy <laughs> oh she's got ties on her legs i'll get those later um the neckline of the dress is super well done it looks even and kind of you just kind of have to finesse it back into place. There we go. Beautiful. I adore the front of the corset here between the two boning layers. Really nice arrangement of rhinestones. It looks very nice. Um, and then this is tied down. I'm probably not going to move it um, unless I want to take some picture with it fluffed up. But I don't know what you would call this, but it looks great, and I've always loved that part of Cinderella's dress. It looks like the dress is two pieces, let me confirm. Yeah, okay, so the dress is two pieces, but it's um, tied down right here, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, it's just easier to make a dress two pieces, especially when most of these dolls are never gonna see the light of day, so it's fine. Um, the dress is actually completely detailed, even onto the back, which is awesome. It's swirly, it's got all its rhinestones, the, everything continues onto the back. With dolls, you really don't get that, so that's really cool. Um, the only thing that's not is the headband, but um, doesn't really need to be. I'm actually surprised that the headband is Velcro and not the 
it's like not the right width. That's very interesting. Um, her updo is actually surprisingly simple. It's just um, super curled hair that's gelled and put in a ponytail. Looks good, regardless. <laughs> um, the dress is just unbelievable. It's enormous. Let me like, I think this could fit a small toddler, this amount of fabric. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Really big circle skirt. Just think about how much fabric that took to make. Like, because you have to cut the circle out of, oh, that looks so cute with her up in the front like that. Um, and the dress has several layers. So there's the embroidered um, organza layer. And then underneath we've got, oh, this is like a mesh almost. Very cool. And it's iridescent, see-through. And then you've got the normal satin underneath. And it has some kind of, um, I wouldn't call it boning because it's really thin and pliable, but there's definitely something to keep the rigidity. I need to cut my bangs again. I'm trying to grow them out. Sorry. Um, there's something in there to keep the skirt super rigid. So there's uh, four layers to the skirt. Is that what I counted? I do. I think three. So that means just think about how much fabric that was. Just, just saying. I make costumes, and like the amount of fabric you use on some things is surprising. And this would be one of those things where it's like, if you were to try to recreate it. Um, and there's a few spots where they have put the little plastic ties in to hold the that shape of the dress and also those were where it was held in the box. Um, I might take them out because they're done a little sloppily on the front of mine, but I'm sure that's different for every doll. Now, sorry, she's a beautiful lady, but we gotta look under the skirt. <laughs> ah! Okay, so she actually has a crinoline, which is pretty cool. It's not super, um, it's just tool. It's actually not super high quality, but it doesn't really need to be. It's just like an underskirt. No one's ever gonna see it. Um, so then if we flip that up, it's really stiff though, they picked a really good tool. We've got, um, I don't like this style of jointed legs from the Disney store, but they're fine. And then we have her beautiful glass slippers, which are surprisingly lackluster, but I guess you would never see them. Um, most people don't open their dolls, but they are just like a resin plastic and they've got the little bow in the front. I'm shocked they didn't embed glitter or do anything like, I really love the style of the glass slipper that they used for the um, limited edition Cinderella. That would be my only complaint, I think, is that these slippers are not the best, but they're still cool. And again, most people will never see them, so... Oh, and she's got these lovely gloves on. Nothing to really say about them. They look good, and they are the same fabric as the... Well, they're not actually the same fabric. They're actually like, they're the same color, but they're a um, a knit as opposed to all these other fabrics that are not. So I'm not really sure. Um, Cause see, they're stretchy. Um, that's kind of cool. And the top is made out of some other fabric too. I'm not really a fabric expert. <laughs> and this stuff is that same meshy layer that's under the skirt somewhere over here. Where'd it go? This, this layer is the same as, I'm really having trouble. It's the same as this and this. Um, so now that I've examined her, picked her apart, this is like hands down one of my favorite dolls that I own now. She is amazing. I think the price tag, I think 400 is a little bit ridiculous, but for 150, this doll is totally worth it in my opinion. If you guys can get a hold of her, you just go to the Saks Fifth Avenue website or any of their stores if you live in America um, and you can get her. Um, sorry that the comments, if you made it to the end, I'm sorry that the comments are disabled on this video. YouTube took away all the comments of any um, channels they deemed were run by people under the age of 18. I'm almost 20, but I got hit and they refused to do anything about it, so it's just kind of been a thing for a while for me, unfortunately. but. Um, yeah, so if you want to chat with me, my Instagram is xcanadensis, same way it's spelled here. Um, that's mostly where I'm active, so that's where I would say to talk to me. If you want to comment on this video specifically and you only have YouTube, I have a YouTube community page where comments for some reason work, and you can comment on any of those posts. I try to look at them every now and then, but it doesn't notify me when they come through, so I would recommend commenting on the most recent one if you want me to see it. Um, but with all that... Um, I highly recommend this doll, whether you're an in-box collector or an out-of-box collector. I do think the size of the box is a little bit ridiculous. 
Um, but when when I saw Cinderella in the box, it didn't look like a lot of space was wasted. Just they had to make the box enormous for her skirt. But it is kind of ridiculous, and it's going to make my overseas shipping really expensive. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching. I don't. I'm gonna be honest, I don't do a whole whole lot of Disney videos, but I um, have a pretty sizable Disney doll collection. I enjoy them a lot, and whenever I get a hold of them, I try to make videos. Um, so yeah, bye guys. Oh man, that's gonna be my new favorite thing to do. <laughs> bye.